Can you do knee strengthening exercises on rest days to make your knees extra bulletproof? I'm gonna talk to you about that in this video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you never miss another video, and comment, jump down below in the comment section if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program. Today's question is from Jason Julius Then, who says, can I do knee exercises to prevent jumper's knee during recovery days, or will it break down my muscles again? Great question. So, it all depends on your workout splits or your training split. When are you doing your weight training days, your, your strengthening days for your legs? If you're following the split that I recommend, which would be Monday weight training, Friday weight training, and then Wednesday is a jump day or a plyometric day, then the answer is that you could probably get away with doing some knee strengthening exercises on Wednesday after you did your plyometric day or your jump day. So, and it, de it also depends on which exercises you are talking about. If you're talking about exercises like glute bridges with a mini band or clams or monster walks or lateral side steps, you could do all of those because they target the glute medius and the glute medius isn't going to break down enough um, from those exercises. If you're talking about KOT squats or eccentric squats on a slanted board or KOT lunges or anything that causes knee bend, knee bend exercises tend to break down more than other exercises do. So you could get away with knee bend exercises if you're using body weight and if you did not do them the day after a weight training workout or a day before the weight training workout. So really Wednesday would be the only day that you could add some knee bend, knee strengthening exercises into your routine on a rest and recovery day. Other than that, I think that you should be resting and you should be recovering. Remember that patellar tendonitis is an overuse injury. It's from breaking down your muscles too much. So breaking them down even more with knee bend exercises may not be the best idea. However, if you're on the come up from jumper's knee, if you're on the come up from patellar tendonitis and you are seeing progress, then you can push it a little bit more and progressive overload it a little bit more with throwing that extra day on a Wednesday after your jump day or your plyometric day. Other than that, I would keep it on your weight training days or I would completely replace your weight training with knee strengthening days. But there's your answer. Knee bend exercises break down the tendons and the muscles more than non-knee bend exercises. So choose your exercises carefully and choose when you do those exercises carefully. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell if you have not already. Comment, jump down below for a free jump program and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know the way to change your life is not by thinking about it, not by dreaming about it. It's by thinking about it, dreaming about it, and then going out and putting it into action and actually doing it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm